Hey, what is up, dudes? My name is Freaky, and today is going to be another Storytimes video. If you guys missed or want to watch any of the other Storytimes videos, there will be a link in the description below that you guys can go check out a playlist for the Storytime videos, and all of them are freaking goddamn awesome. And I love doing this series, and it seems like you guys love it too, and it gets me more interactive with you guys. You guys get to know a little bit more about me and what's going on or what has happened in my life so far, and hope you guys will enjoy it. So the gameplay today is some lag ups too. Uh, usually, I don't talk about the gameplay whatsoever um, but today the gameplay is on some black apps 2 where I get my first nuclear and it could have possibly been almost a hundred plus gameplay if I would have actually used my um, Vita warship about twice because I rank it uh, or I get two of them in the second half of the game and I don't use them at all until the end of the game within five seconds and I get one kill with it so all the guys will enjoy it and the nuclear happens at the uh, second half of the actual game itself uh, the first half is kind of a little bit boring but hope you guys still enjoy it uh, so far so Today, we're going to be talking about a story, a couple of stories that uh, go around what I'm going to be talking about today, which is stealing um, or doing whatever, like theft and stuff like that. And um, I don't know. It's something that I want to talk to you guys about. And maybe you guys will learn something from this that you guys probably should not do this like retail theft and stuff like that. So um, back in the day, back in the good old days of high school, um, I'd say I was about 18. So I could have possibly been pressed charges against as an adult, um, which this did not happen uh, surprisingly. Uh, <laughs> I did not ca get caught with this at all. So, me and my buddies, uh, actually, I've done this actually a couple times. So, probably, yeah, senior year and uh, a couple years after that. But uh, we went to this mall, and this mall is um, in my area. I'm not going to say which mall it is, just to keep this anonymous. And uh, <laughs> we'd go or we'd go into Sears, and uh, Sears is kind of like a running down place now. If you guys know what a Sears is, it's like it owns like Kmart's, and Kmart's are closing down to the big K or whatever. Okay, they're, they're pretty much just lumping down into the uh, horrible part of society of outlet stores they're just pretty bad um their electronic section sucks but uh, they have a clothing section now it's like Kohl's or any other clothing place like huge outlet place uh that you could go to to get some clothes like your mom goes and shops at and uh, your brother could too or whatever um but uh there's this back of the store where the men's section is now there's these clothes there that are like a tattoo type brand and I was always into that I like the tattoo style shirts um, they have like these tattoo machines on the shirt skulls and all this crazy stuff that I really really like uh, to wear so I'd go back there and uh, take one off the uh, hanger now a lot of these clothes uh, in Sears since I think they're going under they don't have any uh, electrical tags on it or magnetic tags that set off alarms or anything like that so I basically go back in the dressing room which is always pitch black no cameras whatsoever and uh, just just sneak it away in a bag because I just purchased something and then bring a bag into the store and just throw it in there and uh, lump it all together so uh, that day when I did take this stuff I took about two shirts they're about like 40 bucks a piece so it's like ah uh, it's a little pricey. It's a little pricey, and I don't recommend you trying to do this or even trying at all to steal anything from any store, but uh, hey, maybe you'll learn something from this. So <laughs> we were taking some stuff from the store, and I decided, hey, if we can take stuff from here, where else can we take it? So we go into a Journeys, and now Journeys at the time, or not Journeys at the time, it was uh, Spencer's. Spencer's Gifts, where they have, like, dildos and all this, uh, you know, ganja stuff, weed, marijuana, posters, sexy stuff, lights, and everything. We go in there, and they have a sales section, and it seems like the store's only been running by, like, one chick that's, like, really short, and uh, she she's not going to be able to notice. So we go in there, and we take some stuff off the racks and uh, throw that in the bag as well. Walk out, just totally god dang fine. Just walk out, nothing, like nothing even happened. Like nothing freaking happened. And then we go into a Hot Topic. Now, Hot Topic, impossible. Don't even, like Hot Topic, you can't. It's just not a thing. Because in their tags, they even have the magnetic strips and they have the paint strips that go off um, that could explode or whatever and stuff like that. So uh, we go in there and try taking a few stuff. Um, and I throw stuff in the bag. Now I try walking out of the store and the alarm goes off a little bit. And I see the guy at the front of the register is like giving me that eye. He's like, hey, what are you doing? What are you, what, hey, are you stealing? Are you stealing? And uh, I just say, oh, no, no, it's the shorts sending them off. I was like, I don't know why the shorts are sending them off because there's shorts like right by um, the front entrance. So it's kind of reasonable that uh, that would happen. So I can kind of con my way out of this one. So um, I evidently just throw stuff under the table of the front uh, where they have like jeans and pants and everything like that. So I just throw the stuff. I'm like, fuck it. We're not taking anything from here. This is going to be impossible. We're not going to do it because then we're going to get caught. So and then we just leave through Sears. So we go back through Sears and leave with like a bag of probably $120 worth of clothing um, from Sears and um, Spencer's. So, 
And then the next day, when I go to school, um, I tell everybody super loudly, for some reason in my class, uh, <laughs> that I was stealing from the mall. And uh, my teacher even heard me, and she's like, Tom, shut the fuck up. And I was like, oh, okay, sorry. I didn't know I was talking so loud. And, uh, yeah, so that was my first story. And um, I also have taken um, jars from Spencer's before as well before this actual incident has happened. So going to the actual story of the bad thing with retail theft. So I go into Walmart with a couple of my buddies. We're going in at about 11 o'clock at night. And um, Walmart, that was open 24 hours. And we go in there. Uh, now we're just kind of fucking around. We're throwing footballs back and forth, hitting the top vents and stuff and making them ricochet. And we're kind of making a mess in there. Um, and uh, apparently the people there... The security people are watching us and keeping a big eye on us um, because they figure out that somehow we're going to do something naughty. And uh, I don't approve a dish. And uh, neither do they. So um, uh, by the end of the day, or uh, the end of the trip there, um, I actually take a rock star and I'm like, hey. You know, I don't have any money right now. I'm going to take a Rockstar. Rockstar, I, I need something to drink right now. I'm appeal feeling kind of parched. I need something to drink, and I love Rockstar energy, so I'm just going to get one of these. So I'm trying to find my buddy at the time. I'm with my other buddy, and we're walking around trying to find him. We couldn't text him because I think his phone was dead or something. We just couldn't find him. So we walk around to the front of the entrance of the Walmart, and I still have the Rockstar in my hand. I'm like, hey, dude, hey, what are you doing? And uh, I start e easing my way towards the exit of the uh, Walmart, and we're walking towards it. And uh, what do you know it that some guys come around the front of the sliding doors and they're locked the sliding doors are locked So apparently they're watching us the whole time when we're going through there and uh, once <laughs> once we go up to there There's guys are like hey, what are you what are you doing? What what are, they're like, what are you doing? It's it's cold out here. You got you got to let us in you got to let us in and I was like Oh, okay, I'll let you in and there I was like, I don't know how to let you guys in right now And they're like hey just just push those buttons up there it'll, it'll open it up and so when I go and I push those buttons up it opens up and then they just come back in and they're like hey Walmart security uh, we saw you guys taking something and then they looked at me and I had the rocks in my hand I was like fuck, I just done fucked myself and um they take me into the back room, and I'm like, oh, shit. This has just got serious. This just got literally super serious. And I go back there. They take my name, uh, my picture, even the picture of the goddamn rock star, for Christ's sake. They take the picture of that. And they're like, hey, there's going to be evidence on that rock star that he's trying to take. It's evident that he was trying to take it right there. You can see it. You can see the fingerprints. Um, but uh, they take my picture, and they start talking to me a little bit. And um, they ask me where I'm from, what's my age. They ask me for a social security number and stuff like that. And I have to give it to them. And I was waiting in there for about an hour. And I start to get to know them a little bit more. I start talking to them about ghost stories and about the ghost stories that happened with me in that uh, haunted house that I lived in uh, that you guys can go watch. There'll be a link in the description below. But I I start talking to them about that and they start like getting to know me a little bit more and it's pretty funny and then a cop comes in and writes me a ticket and um, I was like hey my dad's a cop and I was trying to get out of it and he was like oh well here you go and I was so afraid that I would like have to go home in cuffs or they'd arrest me because I'm uh, I was 20 at the time so I was afraid of what was gonna happen to me because it's the first time I've ever been caught doing anything like that and I pretty much get set off with a warning or just not arrested uh, permanently so they give me a ticket, which is about $362, I believe it is, in Wisconsin. And uh, it's a pretty hefty ticket. It's anything from a dollar to a hundred dollars is three hundred and sixty some dollars or something like that. And I was like, oh fuck, I have to pay this shit. So later on, it, it, a month passes and I have a court date that comes up. So I go to the court date and uh, it, it literally was nothing. I thought I would have to sit and talk and tell about my story, try to try to lie my way through it and uh, dress all nice and casual and see if they um, <laughs> if they let me through on this one because it's my first offense and it was something minor and uh, nothing really uh, criminalized like I wasn't stealing a hundred dollars worth of crap or something crazy. It was just a, it was just an energy drink for Christ's sake. And uh, the guy uh, isn't even there. I don't even get like the judge to even say anything to me. Um, some lady, a uh, comes up to me and I think she's like I don't know she like jurisdicts some some stuff or something she gives us another way to get past it without actually having to pay the ticket which is the final payout so she's like hey here you go you can uh, go through this class that's a hundred dollars you have to bring a hundred dollars to the class and uh, you'll be set to go and then you have to pay forty dollars when you come back and then you can have the uh, case dismissed so I have that happen. I go to the class, and the class is full of just random weird people that tell stories. One lady was like, 
hey, I like stealing. I'm not going to stop stealing. It's like a habit for me. She was acting like it was a crack addiction. And she was like, yeah, I stole a couple times. And then every day I have to go into a store and steal. I'm like, whoa, whoa, why are you telling someone this in the class? You're evidently going to go to prison if you keep stealing. And this is your way out of it, and you're just going to do this? Like, what? <laughs> so I'd go through the class, and I had to tell them my story. I tried lying about it a little bit, and um, tell them that I wasn't stealing, and what they, like, entrapped me at the, the gates of the Walmart. And uh, all that stuff goes on, and I'm like, fuck. This class has to be over soon. It's about a four-hour class. We sit down learning about how bad stealing is, how bad theft is, and how it raises prices and everything like that. And uh, I learned my lesson. I'm just going to tell you guys, I learned my lesson. Never steal again. Don't have any retail theft. Get a job and uh, pay for what you want in life because it'll pay off in the long run. You don't want to pay that $360 ticket for just a rock center energy drink. So if you guys did enjoy this video, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, when was your first time that you ever was involved in some type of cops related thing? If cops ever came to your house, cops were ever called on you, or has your friend ever stole something, or have you ever stole something? Let me know in the comment section below. Tell your story down below. And hope you guys did enjoy this nuclear gameplay. And I guess I will catch your freaky faces in the next video. This is always here. This is always here. Go, go, go. Shit, is he climbing? Is he climbing? Can he climb? Can he climb? Is that a thing? Is that a thing that he does? No.